Hey, 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 TK beneficial without the referee whistle. Take notes, jot it down, she taking off like a missile, and if you real, nigga, shut up. Just subscribe, nigga, your line is my line, respond. And if we know that you live, nigga, leave a comment, nigga, still in this bitch, nigga. Hey, hey, we live, hey! Guardians of Innocence, and this is our second in this particular operation, and we often talk about child pornography, and quite frankly, I say, you know, we're arresting these people for child pornography, and that's what we're going to talk about today. However, it's very, very important for you to understand what child pornography really is, and I'm not so sure that we say that often enough. Certainly there are people that think child pornography is quote unquote kitty porn, that it's 16 or 17 year old girls who make themselves look a lot younger, but they're really mature, and that's not it at all. When we talk about child pornography and those that we've arrested today, they're either dealing in or possessing or trading or a combination of all of those things of pornography child pornography of children being raped of babies as young as diapers being raped by adult males this is the most horrific conduct you can ever understand in your entire life these people have this now, obviously, we received information, and that's why we investigated them. But just as important to understand is we're also looking for the victims of child pornography. We did not find any of that in this particular operation. But when you think about the horrible acts that they're doing to innocent, not only children, but babies, it makes your blood boil. And when you think about these folks, you go, well, what kind of people are they really? Well, I've got a lot of adjectives for them, but let me tell you that some of them appear to be, you know, just normal people in life until you know that they're not normal at all. How about Edward Zabarski? He's 48 years old. He claims to be a professional bartender and he's currently working at the Cheers bar in Kissimmee. He had 64 counts of child pornography so far. Now understand that we are still investigating their different phones or apps or computers and there could be add-on charges at a later date. But while he's not tending bar, he's looking at child porn. And then there's Bruce Noper, he's 51. He told our detectives that he has been viewing child pornography since the late 1980s. Did you hear me? The late 1980s. He's employed as a laborer at Top Hat Cleaners. And his favorite child porn was children between four and six years of age. We have him charged with 12 counts. And you might say, why only 12 counts if, in fact, he's been at this since the 1980s? Well, I must tell you, weeks before we arrived at his residence, his girlfriend discovered that he was looking at child porn. She totally destroyed the computer, totally destroyed the hard drive. And I mean poured acid on it, beat it with hammers, just absolutely tore it up. He is reported to have said that he could have had thousands of images of child porn, but for his girlfriend, who was absolutely shocked by that conduct and trashed his computer. Now here's Matthew Sense. He's 35 years old. He is already a registered sex offender. That's right, a convicted felon. He was sentenced in Illinois 
for three years or two, three years in the state prison system for possessing child pornography. Obviously, it didn't work so well. He's now charged with another hundred counts. Oh, in addition to his three years, Illinois made him do 200 hours of community service. Hmm. I wonder if he did that in public parks or, you know, working on computers or something. I mean, because whatever it was, it didn't slow down his interest in child pornography. So he's back in the county jail now after having served three years in an Illinois prison. So I guess he'll try the Florida prisons for a while. Well, that's not the only registered sex offender. Now we have Richard Cousins. He's 64 years of age. He's also a registered sex offender and convicted felon. He likes children between 8 and 10 years of age. Now that's right. When people keep their child pornography or their sexual deviant child pornography, they all have a preference, little boys, little girls, different age groups, and he happened to like 8 to 10 year olds. He's charged with 143 different counts of child porn. But let me take you back to when he lived in the state of Maine. In 1992, he sexually abused two children. Two children. Now, he sexually abused two children who were between the ages of 7 and 12 at the time, and the great state of Maine gave him a total of four years in prison and suspended three of the four years. That's right. He did one year for sexually abusing two children. Way to go, Maine. When we arrived, he was actively downloading child porn. He had four different computers operating at the same time. If you want to see a poster child of a child predator, of a child pornographer, of a felon, of a very dangerous person, there he is. I find it terribly interesting that prior to his arrest the other day, there are people in the United States that think we ought to give him his rights back to vote. Don't you want him selecting leaders for our cities, our counties, our state, and the nation? 143 counts of child porn. And then there's Ricky Vargas Garcia. He's 30. What does he do for a living? He's a Lego builder for Merlin Entertainment. He does not work at the park. He works at an off-site location building Legos. He admitted that he views and he trades child pornography. We're really worried about this guy. He says that he chats online with children. He apparently has taught an 11-year-old little girl into sharing nude photos or either he shared a nude photo of himself with an 11-year-old child. We know that he prefers children three to five years of age with his child pornography. We've got him charged with 10 counts, but when he's actively going into chat rooms talking to children, it's just a matter of time until he batters a, a child if in fact he hasn't battered a child already and we're just unaware of it. And then there's Roger Caddy. He's 53. It's reported to us by him that he makes a six-figure salary. He's been employed 22 years by Disney. He's a costume manager for Disney. His children of preference are as young as three years of age, and he had 24 counts of child pornography. And he's confessed to being in possession of that child pornography. Then there's Donald Merrick. 
Donald Merrick is 69. What's interesting about Donald is he taught school for 30 years in Maricopa County in Arizona. We've charged him with 16 counts of child porn. And he said he retired here because he loves Disney World and he goes to the theme park two or three days a week. When he's not at the theme park, he's home with child pornography. And he taught in the school systems for 30 years. Be interesting to know.